heard in television game shows, the all-new Crosswind. Today's special guest stars, brilliant impressionist comedian Fred Travelina. Television actress and personality, Marsha Wallace. One of today's brightest comedians, Brad Garrett. And from General Hospital, beautiful Jacqueline Zeman. Today, one of our contestants can win one of these three fabulous cars and a vacation of a lifetime to Micronesia on the all-new Crosswind. Here to help us figure it all out is our host, David Park. Well, if only you knew how thrilled I am to be here, uh, you'd come and join us right in the studio audience. Those of you who already have, welcome to the show. And those of you at home, I hope uh, you're going to have the time of your life as you view the contest between some great teams. We have Fred, and we have Marsha, and we have Brad, and we have Jackie as contestants. We have Carolyn, and we also have Rena. And with that, Michelle, let's hear about the rules. You'll be given clues to words in a crossword puzzle, all of which add up to a person, place, or thing. Answering the clues correctly gives you control of the game, and the letters in these answers are worth points. Stars can help with the crossword answers, but only the contestant can solve the puzzle for bonus points. And thank you so much. Let us see the first puzzle. Stars, contestants, we are looking for a, can you guess? A thing. Yes, that was beautifully done. And Rena. You won the flip backstage, so we're going to start with you and the handsome Brad Garrett. Please stop. Stop, Dave. I'm one of your biggest fans, Brad. Well, thank you. You have to get out more. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Rena, would you get us started, please? Okay, I'll try number three down. This is a very uh, fortuitous beginning. <clears throat> a mm. transvestite's favorite kind of racing. Uh, drag. A uh, drag, Yay. yeah. Yay. Yeah. Oh, wow. That one I knew was... Yeah, yeah, that, he got that one, yes. Very nicely done. That was worth um, 20 points. Can you something here? Is that Great. <laughs> okay. How about number five across for Jackie? Yes, five across for Jackie. The crowd a wolf hangs out with. <laughs> the crowd a wolf hangs out with. Oh, dear. Uh, group. Really? group. Pack. Say it a Is little it louder. Pack. Pack. Okay, how about number one down? Brad, when a lonely flame dies, blank gets in your eyes. Oh, well, I think when a flame dies, it's a little tiny speck. Could that be? Speck is not what we were looking for, although that was a good choice. It wasn't spec. Give me my gun. Rain. <laughs> I don't have it here. No, um, I don't know. Which means you have 40 points. We are over to Caroline. Okay. And we are going to probably go to Fred Travelina. And one down, right? One down. Do you want to fill in the answer and I'll see if the question fits? When a lonely flame dies, blank gets in your eyes. Well, I would... I'll say this as Ronald Reagan. Well, no. Smoke. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Caroline. Four across, please. Are you making that noise? Uh, no. Oh, I'm good. To thank quit. goodness. I'm trying I was to quit, as a matter of fact, Marcia. Here's your, uh, here is your clue on Crosswitz. We're plugging our oh, own yes, show I at this see, point, I... of course. Your team may work together like a well oiled. Machine. Yes, well machine. machine. Do you want me to call you Caroline or Carolyn? Caroline. Well, I did a good job, didn't I? <laughs> yes, you All did. right, Caroline. A um, few more points here. How about two down? Fred, he always gets to sleep with the queen. <laughs> the king. Uh... The king. <laughs> Take a look up at the puzzle. You got almost everything filled in. All we have is six across. Uh, do you want to solve it? I'll solve it. How about cigarettes? A cigarette, cigarette happens to be correct. Well, yes. Well done. Let's take a look at the puzzle. Six across was light. Light, smoke, machine, king, drag, pack. All add up to cigarette. And uh, 
Uh, that was very nicely done, Caroline. Now. Speck gets in your eyes. Speck <laughs> gets in your eyes. No, no, that's not what we were looking for. But, Brad, maybe that'll be a clue in the future, and we'll look for you for the answer. Um, Caroline, you are a, uh, a manager of a liquor store, it says here, and you're from... Uh, where is this, Marsha? Cucamonga, California. Cucamonga, California. Yay. Marsha just got married there. And where I was married at the Buddhist temple in Cucamonga, California, yes. May 18th. Yes. What do you do there in Cucamonga other than sell uh, liquor? There's not much more to do, no. I do. Uh, well, at this point, one always says, nice to see you on the show, Caroline. You're doing very well, and uh, good luck to you. And no. we also want to talk to Rena Pakula, mm -hmm. who is a student at UCLA, an aspiring what? Radio personality. Radio personality with a yeah. face like that. Why would we hide that on radio? We ought to have you as a television personality. Right? Well, my other choice is newscasting and sportscasting, but I'm starting off in radio because that's all we offer at UCLA, or they offer at UCLA. You want to be a sportscaster or a sport? Sportscaster or a newscaster. I'm going to invite her to play a round of golf. Nice to see you on the show, Rena. <laughs> of course. You. Let me recap Winter. the score and get out of this as uh, soon as possible. The score is 130 points for Caroline and 40 points for Rena. Of course, I'm just kidding you, Rena. You're a good kid, and Caroline, you're a good kid, too. We'll be right back.